to you and we show you a huge amount of things that have come to the pop culture warehouse this last couple of weeks last week we showed you new york comic-con we got that out of the way nice and, and early no, so we no. have plenty more to show you this week including a buttload of funko and some other cool stuff and uh <laughs> we're actually gonna do a little peek at the uh little pins that we were uh, giving away for Ooh. your comic-con order Ooh. i believe you want a little pin Ooh. 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 Stop teasing little them. sneaky peek little sneaky peek uh, oh, now guys hi. Hi. <laughs> just a couple of housekeeping things if you did order an express order for new york comic-con they are already on their way unfortunately the pins did not arrive until tuesday so we have not included them in your order but are sending them out after the fact uh, you should be receiving those in the mail uh in the next week or so so look out for those uh, a couple other things, we are a little bit behind on orders due to the massive success that was New York Comic Con. We have also had a massive amount of pre-orders roll in the door, including a lot of Stranger Things items that Woo. many, many people have pre-ordered. So keep your eye out for uh, dispatch notification. Uh, we will be sh shipping a lot of them out uh, at the same time. So uh, look forward to that. Um, Sandy, you seem to be struggling <laughs> yeah, <it's> <laughs> trying to open hard. up one of those bins. That's okay. There we go. All right, you can bring it up to the camera rather than just put it back on the table. This is one of the pins in the question. Uh, nice enamel finish on that enamel pin. Uh, designed by uh, yours truly, Andy Walker. <laughs> 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 yours truly. <laughs> uh, he's got, he's got, he should have his little name on there. There he is, Andy J. Walker. This is his whole name. Yep. yep. If you that on there. <laughs> we just doxed him. <laughs> <laughs> Well, nice well, knowing <laughs> Everyone, you know, like, yeah. no edition <laughs> Stop looking at it! <laughs> <laughs> Just, <laughs> um, Get me off the internet! In case there was any doubt as to what the J stands for, it is Jess. Uh, <laughs> oh. um, <laughs> Andy, uh, Jessica Walker. I actually, <laughs> I actually don't know, but... Uh, put your little suggestions in the comment section. That could, be, middle that could be fun. That's a fun way to yeah, let's potentially. Guess. Let's guess my middle name. Yeah. I'm not going to ever confirm it, but yeah. um, let's guess. Okay, uh, we're anyway. going to give away some prizes. This is what we do on a show like yeah. this. We give away prizes. Uh, and those prizes this week are Jess, if you could remind me. I'm pretty sure it is Argyle in the van. Yes, it is for. Argyle. Look at that pop right. It's Argyle in the Surfer Boy Pizza van. Uh, he's driving it, he's uh, going on cross country adventures. Uh, to just help a bunch of teenagers he just met. <coughs> yeah, dude. Is he a teenager too? Or he's he he's out? questionable in he's like young adult, but he also drives and has a job. But they can drive he when they're sixteen be driving over there. Probably for most of it though. <laughs> he's very high. Uh, but you know, each of their own. Um, <laughs> uh, what else are we giving away? We're giving away the My Hero Academia. You you. you this one. Yuroto? Yes. Uh, Yuroto uh, Shishada. <laughs> Shishada, this awesome uh, flocked Shishada. edition. Um, and it is a pop culture, not pop culture no. exclusive, just a Funko exclusive. Regular, look, regular that, look at that, look at that. No, it's just regular exclusive. Yeah. It's um, still cool though. <laughs> but we're giving that away, guys. If you want to go in the running to win a prize, just leave a comment on the feed. Yes, this very feed you are watching when people are commenting. Uh, join in on that conversation. Luke's watching the feed, picking names at random, and he is going to be adding those names to the wheel. Very exciting stuff. The end of the episode will spin the wheel. People can win some prizes. I'm also going to give away a random prize at the end. <gasps> Stop uh, it. I'm feeling pretty generous last week. Oh. Uh, probably going to be flat on the rest of that one, but, <laughs> but there'll definitely be at least three. Uh, High probability it's a popsy. Just an FYI. Speaking of popsies, let's get stuck into it. <laughs> because this is an awesome new gift card. It isn't a card per se, but is. Uh, has the benefits of the card in that it has a gift message, but also has the benefit of being the gift itself. So if you were really late to get something, you go to a party, you're like, ah, oh, shoot, I need to get something for my friend who likes the office, then you might grab this Michael Scott Popsy. Uh, it has conveniently a to and from on the side, so you can write to and from on there 
message done. No need for Literally a card. just before you walk through mm. the door. Yeah. Uh, do you think you could write this a pen or do you think a texter? No, you could point? do either. That is a nice, it's kind of glossy. I wouldn't use um, like a gel pen that might smudge. Mm. Nice ballpoint. Yeah. Pencil. Um, felt tip if you're going to let maybe it like dry. Maybe like a little bit of a wave. Maybe kind of texture. Yeah, pe- like pencil, I wouldn't because it's going to. Mm, what are we talking? Maybe be too waxy. Label maker, if you're real fancy. No, you don't have time. It's on the way. Last minute. But this is it. marker if you cheap and you want to and use it. In one. And what's better, if you pop it up, it actually has what would be inside the card as a message. So let's go up. Let's pop. That's what she said. And his arms pop up. He's the world's best box. It's Michael Scott from The Office. But we have so many more. Not just office pops, but we have more office pops. Popsies. Hey, man, I love this. You this many dollars. Yeah, so a lot of them are like quotes and stuff. You crack me up, that's a joker. From Five Nights to be a Foxy, I've got my eye on you, only one eye. Dominable, more like adorable. Oh. You're one of us. What does that mean? Ah. Oh, hi, I'm Uh oh. Oh! Have an amazing day. Oh, wow, that one even comes up a little love heart. Mm. Cute. <laughs> Bye, buddy. Oh. <laughs> I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Yes, you are. Uh, 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 we didn't see it. We didn't see it. Oh, oh. Like, like a diamond. Come play. Oh, Ooh. No. <laughs> Ooh. Have a killer day. Ooh, I'd send that to yeah. someone. May your holidays be merry and white. That's weird. <laughs> someone need a hug? That's from Blake. <clears throat> We're magical friends. I don't think she ever said that. <laughs> but you can pop it back down, pop as many times as you want. The fun lasts all day. Again, last minute gift idea. You don't even need to wrap it. It's perfect. It's got a nice spring sound to it as well. Mm. Um, I wonder if I can... Just get that recorded on. No. Shh, shh, shh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that's the good stuff. That's the good stuff. We've got another new line that's come in as well. This is uh, a new uh, platform of toy from Funko called Snaps. And these are interchangeable figures that you can pull pieces apart, add them to other figures, uh, and just have a great grand time. They've oh, made okay. this really great playset. This is the cool. Springtrap and Freddy set, which features Springtrap and Freddy. We also have Toy Bonnie and uh, Baby. Mm. Uh, and all of these figures are interchangeable. Baby. You can put, put Baby's head on Bonnie and Freddy's oh. waist on Bonnie and put everything on Bonnie. Everybody's getting on Bonnie. Um, so, it's, oh, so it's a little bit like a Mr. Potato Head situation. It's a little bit like uh, Mr. Yeah, potato Head. The faces come off as well. So you've got heads and faces, like that's double layered. Uh, little, little accessories, snap and swap, that's cool. And they've got um, some little diorama play sets. So you've got Freddy with uh, the stage, Golden Freddy with stage, and we've got Chica with the storage room where there's a bunch of like faces and stuff. There. Are, can you hang um, the faces? You tables, can. robot head, and box you can with hats that can move to customize oh. each play set. So you can put them all, that's really great. <laughs> Yeah, see, that's what I was saying. This is a good gift. This is. I agree. This is if a fun. Watching, this is Christmas also. <laughs> oh, wow. yeah. This is a fun new thing from Funko. I'm a really big fan of it. Funko try a lot of new things. They don't always work. This one, I'm a big fan of. Um, I recommend grabbing what? it if you're a Five Nights fan. What else this, do they do? With yeah. this? What can we talk about? The things that haven't worked. Um, no. Mini uh, <laughs> Things that have worked uh, are the Funko vinyl sodas. Uh, something that I'm really a big fan of. Uh, I think uh, this is almost probably my favourite thing that they do. Could be the Popsies, overthrow them. Uh, mm. Could, c- could be. Mm. Uh, um, these have a can, but these ones have a message. Yeah. <laughs> oh. They, they do. have a pog. Yeah, they do have a pog. Oh, they do, like this gym pog. But those ones pop. Smug grin. What a jerk. Oh. Um, <laughs> they really captured his excessive nose well on mm. this. Is this the one in six chance to get a chase uh, gym? And this chase gym, I think, is like three hole punch gym, maybe? It is, yeah. Um, there's a Ben Tennyson from Ben 10. That's a show you liked, Sandy. You I grew did. up on that. Yeah, yeah. You were right in that demographic. Yep. Sandy, are you annoyed that the Ben 10 on the can is not the same Ben 10 that oh, is in the figure? Oh, you know it. Is this, this is this a chase? No, no. no. But even the Pog is the wrong one. Maybe the chase. Maybe the chase, maybe the chase is that. No, black I think shirt the chase is um, one of his. Monsters, oh. which is cool, but yeah, Not fact, well, head, head, it's different fact. head sculpt action. Anyway, <laughs> we got comic book Moon Knight. This is Moon Knight from the comics. It's not Marvel Studios. We can just check, oh, fact check that. Yeah, just Marvel. Chase blows. Yep. I, I 
think that would be a way to do it. Yeah, that's, oh. the, that's the bend, that's Swampfire. Jump on our website and buy mm -hmm. one. Yeah, wow. Swampfire. Swampfire. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, Dr. I mean, Fate. I mean, Sandy, you're very excited to see Dr. Fate in the upcoming I Black Adam film. Played by Pierce Brosnan. The no. Wolf 7 himself. From Mamma Mia. That's right. <laughs> one and two. One and two. What? He was in two. Uh, well, maybe. I don't know. I never saw two. <laughs> uh, but yes, Dr. Fate. This is the comic book version. Uh, you know, it appears in a similar uh, capacity in Black Adam. Nice to... Uh, His weak point is right below the ear. <laughs> <laughs> like or through the ear canal itself. Yeah. Terrible helmet design. <laughs> yeah, how about his Achilles or any other part that isn't protected by a helmet? He's got boots on. Yeah, but is this an identity saving helmet, not a no, face saving the, helmet? The helmet grants him the power. Oh. oh. <clears throat> kind of like the, the sword of He Man, but it's a helmet that he can't <laughs> see out of. Especially in the Black Adam film, there's, there's no eye holes. So how does that work? Iron Man helmet. No eye holes. No. Uh, but anyway, those are the Funko Vinyl Sodas. Um, we'll touch on some prizes again, just in case you just tune in. If you want to tune in to win, we are giving away the Argyle with Pizza Van. Just leave a comment on the feed to go into the running. Uh, we also give away this cool My Hero Academia pop of you, you, you wrote this character. Uh, <laughs> and uh, again, just leave a comment on the feed to go into the running to win that. Another thing, if you are waiting on your New York Comic Con order or a bunch of things that uh, may have come into stock that uh, that you had pre-ordered. We are working through them. Got a few orders with New York Comic Con and everything we've ordered this year arriving all at the one time, as it always does. Um, so keep your eye out on um, some parcels being dispatched over the next week. Um, we are working our hardest to get them to you uh, as soon as possible. Um, yeah, leave a comment and feed to win surprises, and let's talk about some pops. May as well start with Argyle with Man. Sandy, were you a big fan of Stranger Things for? I haven't seen it. Anyway, <laughs> yep. this is Argyle. Don't know who you're He works about. for Surfer Boy Pizza. He's what a new character in Stranger Things 4. He's What's got a real Californian vibe Surfer around him. <laughs> no, he's friends with, with, with um, the brother. Yeah. The brother. Which brother? The, the older one? I don't know. Yeah. The photographer. I haven't one. watched the latest season. Neither have I, in case. The so creepy really guy never washes his hair. Yeah. Ah, Will's brother. Will's yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jonathan. <laughs> yeah, ah, yeah. yeah. A full Jonathan. <laughs> no Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so he's friends with Jonathan, and he has to help um, Will and Co. Um, mm. Help Eleven get her group back. Um, mm. Cool. Which is a thing they do. Uh, we also have a three-pack of Robin, Steve, and uh, the menacing Vecna. The dream um, team. Yep. Dream Team and Vecna. Um, why Nancy's not in this three pack, I don't know. Hmm. But look at that. They're all there. Hunter outfits. Spooky Vecna guy. Hey, speaking of Vecna, last week when we launched New York Comic Con, we were told by Funko that we weren't getting the Vecna two pack, which features Vecna from Stranger Things and Vecna from Dungeons and Dragons. We have since managed to secure our stock from Funko, so that is available for pre-order right now. Uh, and uh, we have set aside an allocation of the pins. So, uh, if you order a Vecna, uh, that is coming in later this year, fingers crossed, and uh, we'll ship that out as soon as it does arrive. But you can now get that, um, which is cool, I think. Anyway, speaking of multi-packs, Sandy, are you a fan of the band U2? Um, I feel like you are. I feel like you've got real U2 vibes about you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, there's that one good song. Yeah. Um, Is it the one that they forced onto our iPhones that one time? Yes, yeah. that whole album. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of which, that still bugs me today. Always. I delete bugs it. Me yeah. every day. Mm. I can't delete it. Yeah. iCloud keeps it. Yeah. iTunes. Apple I don't know it. why they teamed up with Apple so intently. Back in like 2004, there was a red iPod, but the red iPod had a U2 album on it and you had to pay the price of the U2 album above the price of the regular what? iPod. So to get a coloured iPod you had to buy this album. And I can't remember what the album was. I think it was the one that had a beautiful day on it. You didn't actually show the box. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let me try that again. We have several U2 uh, pieces scattered around the table today. This is a four pack featuring Adam Bono, The Edge and Larry. Oh. <laughs> um, Who's Larry? What? Larry! I think he drums. Maybe. <laughs> He's got some sticks. Yeah, he does. 
Larry with the drumsticks. Mm. I mean, I could see the sticks from the front on view, but that's okay. Well, I'm glad you were observant, Sammy. Yeah. In a place called It's a benefit go. of telling people about things. Yep. It's everything that I did. Don't look at me. Strange <laughs> things. We've got some other cool things that have come in. Some other cool, more than stranger things. These are the strangest things yet. Oh. These are, we've got Vecna as a pop, key, pocket pop keychain. And we have Steve, under Steve, as a pocket pop keychain. And we have um, Erica um, as a pocket pop keychain. And we have um, uh, Robin. Oh. As a pocket pop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're just cool. We're just cool. Hey, we finished everything up. Now we can get to the stacks. <laughs> yeah. We got all the rest. Stacks on stacks yeah. on stacks on stacks, stacks. stacks, 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 stacks. In the latest Black Panther Wakanda Forever trailer, you see a glimpse at Black Panther I in the suit. The trailer spoilers. <clears throat> yeah, well, they waited until the trailer came out before they released the pop. Uh, this is literally how it happens. The character who is playing Black Panther, who knows who that's going to be, lands in this pose. And mm. that's that's pretty much it. Mm. How is that a spoiler that they've released all the Wakanda Forever stuff? Um, yeah, but they hadn't shown a glimpse of Black Panther as Black Panther prior to the second trailer. Oh. But maybe it won't be. Maybe it'll be like when they put um, a bunch of trailers out for Infinity War. None of it was in the movie. Um, so that could be a thing. Yes. Who knows? Sandy. Um, we got some uh, sports. <laughs> Sandy likes sports. Yeah, I do. From the National Basketball uh, Association. Uh, <laughs> all stars. Uh, we've got Magic Johnson. Not, Magic Johnson! Not a real magician. Um, <laughs> oh. Yep, fake magician. Uh, but really cool retro style there. Uh, from Manchester City. So the uh, EPL, English Premier League, uh, is Jack Grealish. Uh, and from Paris Saint-Germain, we've got Lionel Messi. Uh, uh, not Messi, it's a good looking pop. Uh, Sergio yeah, Ramos nice. as well. Uh, Rachel okay, here is PSG. pretty well trimmed. He's one of the most renowned uh, soccer players. Uh, so is he? Yep. yep. On the table or Messi. just in general? Uh, definitely on the table and definitely uh, in general. Uh, hey! More sports. We've got more sports uh, from the NFL, the National Football League. Yep, uh, I know that well. Some Jacksonville uh, Jaguars. Uh, we've got Trevor Lawrence. Uh, there are some fun names on this table. I'm just Miami kidding. Dolphins. We've got Twa Twagavolia uh, from the, <laughs> the Chiefs. Uh, Juju Smith Schuster uh, from the Bills. We've got Josh Allen, uh, not related to Woody Allen. Uh, you don't know that. Mm. Yeah, you don't know, I don't that. know that. You're right. From the Baltimore Ravens, we've got Lamar Jackson. Man, Lamar, that's a good name. Mm -hmm. uh, from the, the 49ers, 49ers. Uh, not to be confused with the 69ers, uh, we've got George Kittle. So that's, the 69ers is a team. Uh, is it? Yeah. Is it? I'm pretty that sure. Feel right. Why didn't you watch that? <laughs> <laughs> or does it, Blake? <laughs> from, the, from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, it's Tom Brady. I don't know how that is. Uh, no, it's one of the most renowned football players. Um, Carolina Panthers. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. That's the only thing I care about. That, that'd be dish, dish, dish. <laughs> Carolina Panthers, we've got Christian ba uh, McCaffrey. Uh, Cincinnati Bengal, Bengal Tigers that is. Uh, Joe Burrow uh, from the Cowboys. Uh, uh, Micah Parsons. Huh, Micah. Uh, and that's for sports ball. And now we've got for She-Hulk ball. We've got uh, not She-Hulk at the ball, but no, we have uh, a bunch of other She-Hulk pops. This is the first couple of She-Hulk pops that have shown up. We have Jennifer, we have the Hulk, and we have Nikki as they appear in the first episode of She-Hulk. Uh, the She-Hulk line slowly dripped in more and more uh, characters from the, the, the series as they appeared in the show because that show was just chock full of cameos. Bunch of cameo goodness right there. I reckon it's the best thing Marvel's ever done, and I'm gonna stand by that. Um, and uh, if you haven't watched it all, it's all it's, it, all of it's now streaming. Mm. I haven't watched it all. Blake, did you enjoy? Thanks for the input, Sandy. Yeah, <coughs> that's what I do. An enjoyable show. It's good. 
good. Um, so that's cool. We've got some She-Hulk pops, so get on those. Um, we also have some some other cool pops that have come in from um, Sanrio. We have Kurumi. <coughs> um, she's cheeky but charming. Uh, and she's with her friend Baku. And um, we have uh, part of the Star Wars Power of the Galaxy line. We have Princess Leia. And um, she's got a nice Power of the Galaxy sticker. And... Bella Porch is something from TikTok, Jess was telling me. Yeah, she is the first TikToker to get a pop, and she also is like a um, singer, pop artist kind mm. of thing, but mainly famous from what TikTok. What does she do on TikTok? Ah, dance. She makes faces. She, yeah, she makes faces. Can you <laughs> demonstrate the faces? No. <laughs> Put that away. <laughs> uh, we've got a couple Disney princess things as well. We've got from Frozen, we've got Elsa um, in some kind of... Gown, I don't know. Oh my god, it's like a let it go scene. I can't it's see it, it's the back of the box. <laughs> Blake, sounds like you need to let it go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh anyway. cue the sound effects. Um, <laughs> and we've got B1. <laughs> we've got Belle from uh, Beauty and the Beast. Uh, she's reading a book because reading is good for you, helps you learn all that knowledge, or unless you're eating trash about. Um, you know, Tom Brady's divorce, Blake. <laughs> quote you, <laughs> quote you yesterday, no one reads anymore. Hmm. I read the back of the box just then. <laughs> well, you told me. Uh, you is, too. Di- oh, uh, did we do gin? Oh, we haven't done this whole line. Yeah. The thing we're giving away. Pronounce it for me, Sandy. Girodo uh, Shishida. Uh, we've got, uh, he's nice and flocked. We've also got Tamura Shigaraki, uh, and Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood Greed, uh, from Coca Cola. Uh, we've got the <laughs> nice Coca Cola uh, Polar Bear, Flock. uh, Flocked, uh, and from DC Superheroes, we've got Ginger Red, Batman, D Glitter. Um, what does the D flocked, stand for? Uh, Demon. Oh, Diamond. Oh, is that how you say it? Diamante. <laughs> You too. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It was, Thanks. And you too, Sandy. Yeah, you too, you buddy. Too. You too, buddy. This is some deja vu uh, because these are the same pops we saw, but in individual boxes. They might uh, be so different. Example: yeah, you can get you, Larry without yeah. all the other ones. That's <laughs> what I was just going to say. Just get Larry, everyone's favorite member of YouTube. That's this right. is part of the Zoo TV era of YouTube being a fan. Oh. There's some stuff on the table there, Mike. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Um, we also have uh, some colours. Now, Funko are doing this cool new thing where they make uh, pop versions of um, illustrations or photos or whatever it might be on a bunch of different mediums as they appear on the cover of something. This first line here is uh, comic covers. So we have Black Panther um, as he appears in Black Panther comic. We have Captain Marvel as she appears in Captain Marvel. Marvel comic, Ask Kamala Khan. We have uh, Wolverine as he appears on uh, the cover of, uh, what does it say? Wolverine. Wolverine, cool. And um, from Batman, uh, we have Batman. And all the illustrations um, are really representative of uh, of what the character is doing on the cover, yeah. which is cool. Cool little Todd McFarlane. Nine, nine times out of ten, that's the case. Sometimes they look nothing like what they're doing. They just pick a random pose. Um, like the Toy Story one, for instance. Um, NFL trading cards. So these are Panini Prism cards that they've blown up to uh, the size of the comic colours. Yeah. Yep. And um, we've got Justin Herbert, we have Patrick Mahomes, and we have Tom Brady again. And he is going through it the force. I heard yeah. that as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, oh, I'm really disappointed on this one because... This guy's hand in the photo Ooh. is not how they've done it on the pop. I really want that hand to be the other way around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's such a pose. What do you it could have been, what but look at that. It's such a good pose. He, he doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> Where do I throw it? I don't know. I just walked onto the field. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the water boy. <laughs> Oh, Justin Herbert. That's how we got started. Walked on Monday. <laughs> um, That's some fine quality H-U-O. <laughs> uh, VHS covers. We have Toy Story. Uh, so these are 
not the film posters, no, these are the posters that they used on the VHS videotape releases of these films. Um, More than often they wear them. Yeah, but sometimes not. Mm. Alright? <laughs> <laughs> really <laughs> Anyway, this, this, this pop, uh, nothing to do with the um, cover itself, but it is a scene where he's, he's looking out either at Buzz in the Bushes and trying to find him, or the kid's birthday party. I can't remember when they use... Um, uh, kids' birthday parties. Maybe mm. both. Let us know, friends. Um, <laughs> um, pop album covers. We have Alice Cooper from Welcome to My Nightmare, and we have Cindy Lauper from She's So Unusual. Maybe. Yeah. 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 Did you go? Did you say Cusco? Oh yeah, I uh, didn't. Did you say Cusco? <laughs> Cusco? Yeah. Cost is pronounced Costco. Uh, <laughs> anyway, this one's actually really good because Cusco is uh, is in the spot that he is meant to be on the cover. Uh, so it kind of is as, right, though, it's right there as, as though it's 3D. So that's good. I really like that one. That's I like one of the that as well. Games. And they've done the proper thing again. I don't know what the hell what, he, what he's doing here. But... Anyway, we've got some Naruto uh, two packs. Uh, Jess, uh, which ones do we have? Hashirama and Toby Rama. These guys. That's an easy one. Yes. <laughs> Good job, Andy. Uh, they have last names. Don't actually. It doesn't say it on the box. But they're brothers apparently, and they are two guys from. Uh, I've never watched that. <laughs> I had to look it up when I put it on the website. But no. Nah, but they. This guy's got. This guy's Bullseye from um, Daredevil. <laughs> and this guy's Magneto. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, that's a 2 can get that. And uh, this has come in, this was a D23 release that has come in. Um, we didn't sell this as a D23 release over here, we just sold it as a regular 2-pack. Um, but uh, this is plain crazy Mickey Mouse uh, and plain crazy Minnie Mouse as they appear in the classic Walt Disney picture, plain crazy. Um, they are black and white, they've got extra little lines over their eyes to reflect the vintage illustration, mm. uh, animated style that was done uh, in that era of uh, Disney uh, animated We've got films. more U2 stuff. That's um, a good two pack, that. It's a good two pack. I'm into You'd be it. playing crazy not to get it. Mickey, <laughs> Mickey should be crazy because Mickey is reading a book on how to fly. How to fly and yeah. I assume she's about to get into a plane with Mickey and Crazy. I mean, <laughs> let's just, let's just emphasize that, you know, uh, air flight was still relatively that's Fresh. true. That's true. Like, it only been a couple of decades. That's a good point. Everyone was still learning. But it was pretty crazy to yeah. get to at all. Exactly. Um, no. You too. Here is Bono in uh, the Akhtang baby car from the tour or album cover. Uh, no one really followed you too at this point. Um, part of the Zoo TV tour. Or album. I can see myself in the reflection and I look really <laughs> Anyway, it's a nice, interesting looking car. It's got a bunch of illustrations on it. And um, Bono has what looks like a cigar. Ooh, okay. It's a uh, stylish. You do you, Bono. Um, and we have from uh, Black Panther Wakanda Forever, we have Shuri in Sunbird. Um, and this seems to be her mode of transportation. She's flying over a body of water, an ocean, a lake. We will find out when we see the film. Given that there's a bunch of like ocean people in the movie, I'm guessing it's the ocean. Yeah. That's cool. Um, we have a new uh, little gift pack for the holiday season. This is uh, DC Superheroes, little pocket pops, not keychains, just pops, no keychain, uh, in a four pack that is shaped like a Christmas tree. We have um, Christmas themed, Batman Christmas themed, uh, Superman Christmas themed, The Flash and Christmas themed Wonder Woman. And uh, again, nice little gift box, happy holidays. Looks like there's a nice little spot there to write a message. Again, they're really keen on giving you that option at the moment. Um, we also have all that literacy two, two new pieces from the um, Sinister Six build a set collection. Um, this is uh, Craven the Hunter, and we also have Electro. And so far in this release, uh, all still on stock on the website, we have Dr. Octopus, Vulture, Sandman, Mysterio, Electro, and Craven the Hunter. That is the Sinister Six, who is going to be the seventh release, probably Spider Man. 
Um, but uh, builds a nice little binding diorama scene that you can add to your collection. Electro is the least sinister looking dude I've ever seen. No. <laughs> Look at all the spiky no. edges. Electricity on his face. Craven the Hunter is definitely the most menacing. Look at that goatee. <laughs> well, Van Dyke is so much Craven, well, he's a hunter. Uh, he's pretty Craven himself. Uh, <laughs> no, he's craving, craving some of that sweet, spidey no, action. He's, he trains a lot of animals, so like he has like a tiger at his command and all But does he have a spider? Sorry? Uh, <laughs> does he have a rhino? I don't know, but anyway, <laughs> what I want to talk about next are some vinyl records, uh, and oh. by I, I mean Jess. It's me! Get in it! I'm going, Jessica. I'm running, I'm totally running. <laughs> I got it. Yeah, speed demon! <coughs> oh my god. Cool! Hi, how you going? How you all going? How you feeling? Happy Friday. What's happening? <laughs> Um, I only got a little handful of records to talk about, but it's still a good little pick of records. Sorry, let's go straight into it. Um, this is UMI's literally called the UMI's fourth record. That's what it's called. It's is like, it jazz? It certainly looks like jazz. It's not jazz. Oh. It's, I believe, just Australian rock. Australian rock music, pub rock, kind of. They misleaded me with the graphic design. Are you, are you upset? I kind of am. You cry? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's been a week. You can't <laughs> edge. <laughs> um, yeah, really great album. It um, includes the, one of their biggest songs, Heavy Heart. Um, but the album overall is a really good, really good time. And if you're a fan of UMI and all their work, this is really cool. Um, I Just you a fan of UMI? Um, not really, not overly. Um, am you I fan? You am a fan. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, but yeah, I believe they're also just going on. <laughs> Sorry. I will mute you. <laughs> Can you do it anyway? <laughs> um, and I do believe they're actually going on tour fairly soon. So look out for that. Um, are we here? So this is Alex is on fire. Um, unseen? Unf uh, uh, uh. Other, otherness, not unseen. Um, but this is their first album, I believe, 13 years since their last release. Um, and they just take on a really big, loud, post-punk kind of sound. Really much the pioneers of like early emo of incorporating, ooh, we're singing and we're screaming. Whoa. <laughs> I have a fun thing that I just learned. The band's name is not Alexis on Fire because I've only ever read it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's Alex is on Fire. It might be Alexis. No. Oh. Uh, Where's the space? There's no space. What? It's all together. No. Ah. That's the problem. I don't like Someone it. Someone who likes the band, let us know. Someone get an interview up with them or something. Yeah. Yeah. Say it. Anyway, good album. I had a listen to it, and my favorite song of this is Committed to the Con. It just it starts off really mellow, and the next thing you know, they're screaming, and there's guitars and stuff. I'm like, ooh, I feel angsty. <laughs> uh, next up, we have the Stranger Things soundtrack. Um, features a classic array of songs with, like, Girls on Film by Duran Duran, Atmosphere with Joy Division, um, Every Breath You Take the Police, Should I Say or Should I Go? Really cool. Really just... Um, you want a mixture of all the songs. You want a little bit of that 80s goodness, but you also like four kids on a bike going to win. What's Stereo. more 80s than that, man? Four kids on a bike? Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, really cool. And if you're a Stranger Things fan, obviously, you know, you have to pick this one up. Um, this, this isn't Stranger Things 4. This is Stranger Things This is Stranger two? Things 1 and 2. Cool. Side A is season 1. Side B is season 2. So it doesn't have running up that hill? No. Not this one, but we will be getting that in. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. But I, I remember buying a Stranger Things one on record and then uh, thinking it was the soundtrack. It was the music. <laughs> and I wanted the, the score. <laughs> yep. Cool story. Yeah, it was. Uh, anyway. What we, sound effect did you just play? <laughs> <laughs> Crickets. 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 Speaking of the score, we also have the score. Is, so it, is this the one you got? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, this, that's the one I wanted. <laughs> um, this is the Strange Things season one score, so you're not going to have any 80s goodness. Well, well, season just... one, volume two, because oh, there was so much goodness to put out there. Wow. Yeah. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's volume two, so it's kind of, I think, more sparsely, like less songs are featured in the actual mm -hmm. series, but they're a part of it and they're in here. And it's really cool. Um, and it's pressed on upside down interdimensional blue vinyl. You're going to upside down when you put this on your turntable. Watch out. But you know, it's cool. 
Nice. What happens when you flip to side B? <laughs> You're done. <laughs> <laughs> um, next up, we have the best of Dinosaur Junior with Ear Bleeding Country. Um, as it says, it's the best of Dinosaur Jun Junior. Mm -hmm. The best of post-punk Dinosaur Junior in the 90s and early 80s as well. Um, and it's just a really great compilation album. If you what, want. What, what examples of songs? Lou Fury things, furry things, man. Yeah. Just Like Heaven, which is I, a cover of The Cure. Uh, not You Again, Start Chopping, Get Me, Feel the Pain, I Don't Think So, Take a Run at the Sun. Is this, is this tick on your fancy? Yeah, it's pretty Andy? good. Yeah. Pretty good compilation. Yeah. It's always subjective, the best of. Mm. It sounds all right. Just Like Heaven. It's the song. <laughs> and let's not forget that cover, that uh, album artwork. <laughs> Awesome. That's legit. Sure. But yeah, if you want to get into Dinosaur Junior or you're already a fan and you just want to have it all in one handy dandy vinyl, this is a handy dandy vinyl for you. Handy dandy for Andy. Yeah, I might grab it. Yeah. Slag. Speaking of rapscallions. <sighs> what? <laughs> get out of here! <laughs> um, yeah, speaking of rapscallions, this is the latest album from the Murlocs net titled Rapscallions. Uh, this is a concept album where the lead singer, I forgot his name, <laughs> Um, kind of takes a deep dive into York. him and his youth and how he grew up. He grew up as a bit of a grom, a skater kid and stuff like that. So he's kind of created this like interdimensional world within like psychedelic sounds of just kind of reliving his youth through it and all that type of stuff. So we've got songs like The Ballerine Ballerina, Living Under a Rock, The Royal Vagabond and Virgin Criminal. Um, just, yeah, and I believe the Murlocs is a, like a subgroup of King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. Like they're like kind of the same people, but they just do it on the side. Cause King it's Gizzard, a pretty big band. Yeah, yeah. and King Gizzard's very lore heavy, whilst the Murlocs is kind of their chance to just kind of rock out and have a good old time. And they do, and they had a great time on Rapscallion. Yeah. Nice. Cool. So that's all the vinyls I've got today, but of course we've also got the playlist. So of course we have the Week in Review playlist. Playlist or Slay List, Jess? Oh. <laughs> Slay List. <laughs> Slay List. Um, so the Week in Review Slay List. Um, the playlist will feature an array of songs from the albums I've spoken about. And also we do a little playlist feature for an employee throughout the company. And this week it is Dylan G from The Gallery. Um, so he has featured a bit of ACDC, he's got a bit of Midnight Oil, really good selection there, so give it a look, give it a check out, give it a like as well, make sure you save it to your library and get grooving. Yeah, that's the vinyls. That's Over you, Annie. quite good, thank you. Yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> we have some new arrivals uh, in the realm of statues, and Sandy, this is really your area of specialty. Oh, is it? Uh, speciality. Yes, yes it is. Uh, we've got some really awesome stuff. We, we'll work. Uh, what do you think, Blake? Quick, quick. What's easy for you, Blake? Yeah. Let's go front, front to back. back. All right. Let's go front to back. Well, I'll make this quick with a quick ball uh, from Pokemon. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway. uh, I have no idea what this one does, Blake. It lights up. Uh, the quick ball, if you oh, use it at the start of a battle, you have a higher percent chance of catching that Pokemon. Uh, it raises it quite a large percentage, and if you are wanting to try your luck um, on what is otherwise a pretty poor performing ball, um, you might actually catch a decent Pokemon. Hmm. Chuck it at an end table, Sandy. Those things will run. Anyway, it's a really nice case. Uh, yeah, and uh, it looks so good. Yeah. Lights up, LEDs, really nice case. Yeah. Says quick ball. Yep, and it's nice and quick to come up as well. <coughs> uh, anyway, we've got some other. That's from uh, the one company. Yes, it is. Uh, and they should change the name to the Pokeball Company yeah. because that's what they're making now. <laughs> there are a whole array of quick balls, uh, uh, Poke balls, uh, balls, uh, and uh, you can grab them all. There's the normal one. There's the great ball. There's the Master ball. Uh, heel ball, luck uh, ball. That's the not a book. Cherish thing. ball. Uh, and there's heaps of balls. Grab yourself some balls today. Yep, yeah, correct. Uh, from first four <laughs> figures, we've got some uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! PVC statues, uh, two versions of the Dark Magician. Uh, up front, we have the uh, blue version, uh, an alternate kind of version of the Dark Magician. Because oh, the skin's blue. Uh, and, yeah, the tones of the costume are a lot different. Um, in, and in the back, the, we have the classic Dark Magician. Uh, the Dark Magician, we'd all kind of know. Um, or the classic look. I don't know any Dark Magicians. Um, is well, this, no. yeah. well, this is Yugi's main um, card that he uses to, to battle... Um, to, to what? 
Nothing. Right. Well, anyway, this is really awesome. First of all, this is something. This is first four figures, second PPC uh, edition, uh, the first Blue Eyes uh, White Dragon. Uh, also so. had two variants. That's correct. That was silver, cool. silver, and a, a white version. Uh, you to pick and choose what yeah, you prefer. Correct. And uh, yeah, really awesome. Really awesome. <laughs> Uh, from Beast Kingdom, we have some awesome Disney Mastercraft statues. Right up front, we have what's Jack this? Skellington. What's this, Sandy? What's, what's this? this? Jack okay. Skellington <laughs> from reference <laughs> to Burgess, the Nightmare Before Christmas. This is really awesome. All these Mastercrafts, almost some of the best statues uh, that are going around, I think. Uh, especially if you're in love with Disney or a big fan of Disney works. Um, it, again, it's really awesome and they're really easy to put together uh, and they do have quite a great presence on the shelf. Um, behind Jack Skellington, we've got Rapunzel from Tangled uh, with a Pastel. Is that right? Pascal? Yeah. Pastel. Yeah. Like you really like Rapunzel or Tangled, I should say. Tell us all about this piece. Rapunzel. Mm. <laughs> it says Rapunzel. It is. Has the same colour and length of hair as you. Um, uh, <laughs> none oh, of those wait. things are true. No. Oh, wait. The people have seen what you look like, haven't yeah. they? Oh, yeah. It's disappointing. Sorry. Um, in the reflection. Oh, yeah. Like like the two bags. I'd actually be more inclined to say if you grew your hair out, Sandy. Yeah, it was getting... That's why, that's why, actually, that's why I had a haircut. Same little hair do you have a little chameleon friend? I do. Yeah. Is his name Pastel? Mm, no. <laughs> Uh, pa it's pastel. Is. It's pastel. Uh, anyway, it's in the That's pastel kind of colour scheme going yeah. on in this piece. It's it's pastel. Pastel. Yeah, I was kind of going to go with Art Deco. But oh, you don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these little yeah. jewels are They are, right. and that's that's really symbolic of the Art Deco. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. The only thing even close is that gold ring around the base. Yeah, yeah, that's, a that's a stretch. That's a stretch. But anyway, uh, moving to something that's less Art Deco. Uh, we've got Steamboat Willie. This book uh, reduced to the period in him. which Art Deco was commonplace. <laughs> Go on! Mickey uh, Steamboat. I, I wonder if I've got his tail around the wrong way. Um, no, I think that's the way it goes. Anyway, this is a really awesome piece. Um, and Mutilated. Oh, we'll find out. Anyway, this is how the tail goes in. No, I, I, <laughs> no, I don't think it is. I think it goes facing down. This um, is... I'm usually better at Just stop. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That down is it. It's down. Uh, pin the tail on the mickey. Uh, we, yeah, really awesome. Uh, and great colours as well uh, in it. There's a lot of them. Um, black and white, multiple different shades there. Yep. Uh, but yeah, really cool, and they've captured the real essence. It's a really, the really nice likeness, and it's yeah. got a really nice kind of metallic plaque in there, um, which prints the edition number. It's yeah. number two hundred and thirty-five of three thousand. Mm -hmm. Pretty low number. Uh, yeah, really awesome. I love these beast kingdoms. They've actually got metallic paint on the nails in the floorboards, <laughs> um, which is a nice detail. That is nice. Yeah. From Ray Harryhausen, uh, we have Talos. Uh, this is the deluxe uh, version. From Jason and the Argonauts. Mm -hmm. Sandy. That's right. Uh, <laughs> from Jason and the Argonauts. <laughs> yep. This uh, is Talos. Uh, this is uh, part of the Ray Harryhausen collection from um, Cyrus Toys, which I stand by is still the best thing being produced in the collectibles industry at this point in time. Mm. If you are not getting on these Ray Harryhausen releases, well, you're really going to regret it. Going, Deathbed, you're going to be like, like you look thing. around and all the things are in your shelves and you'll see that gap where you wanted the Ray Harryhausen collection and you think, mm. oh, dang it. Mm. Anyway, this is a soft vinyl statue, so it's really nice and lightweight. The patina effects that they've captured on this are really awesome. Um, he's held in place by strong magnets, uh, so you can lift him. Whoa! Oh. No pegs! Uh, no pegs. <laughs> He's actually made of All solid pants. stone. I'm just really strong. <laughs> <laughs> that size for solid stone, it wouldn't be that heavy, but... Um... All right. <laughs> Whatever. Stonemason over here. <laughs> uh, he uh, 
through the usage of soft vinyl, you can get some really awesome uh, sculpting done there. So uh, in his obliques, uh, in his pecs, you've got some really nice. You also got the little plug, plug plug on the heel. Oh, uh, that's the important. That's part. the important yeah. bit. So the calves there. That's the only thing undo it to let the red wine out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, really awesome. It's Friday uh, night, folks. <laughs> he also does come with. You can get some drinking done with him. <laughs> a nice little frame there with a miniaturized version. Is this part of the same oh. same piece? That's right. So this what? is the deluxe collection. Yeah, there might be a standard version. I don't quote me on that one. Uh, but yeah, this is a nice little companion piece that you can either have uh, sitting on a on the desk or on a shelf because uh, it does come with a stand. Otherwise you can mount it on the wall because it does also have that capability there. But yeah, really nice uh, added addition to that one. It's I would pretty. get this and I would make the big one hold the little one in his hand. Mm, I don't think that's an option. <laughs> Soft vinyl. So, yeah, just heat it up a little yep. bit and bend it. <laughs> That's what you can do if you buy this. If you do it and it breaks, that's on you. We're not yeah, endorsing you. Yeah. <laughs> um, we got some cool new lounge wire that has come in. Jess, do you want to take the lead in Bianca's absence? Oh, all right. I'm sorry, it's a problem together. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we've got some awesome new uh, lounge fly in. So this is the Mickey and Minnie Sugar Skull backpacks for Halloween. Uh, Sugar Skulls are, I believe, a Mexican tradition uh, with Halloween when they celebrate the Day of the Dead. That's where Halloween comes from and they celebrate people who have passed. Um, but this is really cool. Really bright colours, uh, really vivid uh, little details of his little bow. And then Mickey also, ha Minnie has one on her head. But yeah, really cool. Um, great standout pieces, and what's on the back? Is there anything on the back? There is a spooky spider web. <gasps> is this, ooh, ooh, I like that spider web. Yep. I Very like well. it. So there's that one, and then it's probably just the same on this side as well, but we'll show it because spider web. Mm. Yeah. Spooky situations are afoot, and yeah. I like it. Ooh. <laughs> Speaking of spooky situations, check out this awesome new. Mummy Mickey. Oh. Mummy. And it like has little Mickey the spiders on the side. Oh. That's really cool. Is and we've a... also got... Hello? <laughs> oh, no. It's nah. out of batteries. Oh. Um, and we've also got a little Mickey spider on that. But yeah, cool. He's all mummified. He's, uh, you know, slaying in the tomb. <laughs> Doing uh -huh. what he does. <laughs> um, but yeah, and really cool applique at the top. Yeah. Hey, what's on the what's on the little enamel? You know, was a charm. <laughs> um, it's a mummified Mickey, if you can see that. Mama Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> no. Get this, uh, get this away from me. It's better if you kept I'm that done. Wraps. <laughs> Next up, from Little Mermaid, we have this really cool uh, sequin and glitter bag. So on the uh, zip charm, we have flounder, um, and then we have some really nice glittery scaly detail, and then we have Ariel's uh, shells uh, surrounded with little pearls and little Ooh, are they the, are they the boob shells? <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> I wasn't gonna say. How do they? How do they stay attached? Hopes and dreams. Mollusks. Mollusks. Strategic right. animation. <laughs> Mollusks. Well done. That's really cool. Um, and then on the back, for the detail, we have an embroidered uh, castle, I believe, from The Little Mermaid. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I, I haven't seen it. <laughs> you have never seen the movie? No. Oh, came out like four you're in for years a before treat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't matter. You're in for a treat when you see the Halle Berry live action film. Oh, oh. Man. What? I think it's not a Halle Berry. Is it? No. no. Huh. I don't remember what I'm saying now. I know it's not a Halle Berry. <laughs> That's... <laughs> Probably not from just Catwoman. <laughs> I, re I watched a scene of Catwoman that I completely forgot about. There is a scene where uh, her and a uh, basketball coach are like aggressively having like a uh, ball play with like as a basketball one-on-one -on -one game in front of like a bunch of school children. Oh. Uh, and it's really just, it wouldn't fly <laughs> in the same age. I don't know what's going on in 2002, but. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry to yeah. now. <laughs> Disassociating. <laughs> Goodbye. Um, and then this one we have uh, Ratatouille. Wee wee, no. Ratatouille. Um, and we've got Remy the rat under the hat. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> I surprised myself then. Um, and then we've also got 
Gustus or Gustus? Gusto. G- Gusto, thank you. Uh, Florentin. Gustav? <laughs> um, Florentin being his little oh. ghost self, giving oh. Remy some life advice. Rip. And we've got a embroidered Eiffel Tower, and on the back we have anyone can cook. Anyone can cook. Um, yeah, thrill. that's what we have for the fly. Really cool. Really, really cool. Uh, we've got some cool new money boxes that have come in. Everyone needs a place to put money in this day and age, even though no one's taking it anymore. Um, <laughs> we have uh, a Harry Potter um, bank, Gringotts Bank. Gringotts Bank. <laughs> um, we've got the dragon on it, and uh, that's where you put the money, and on the base, under this label, is where you take it out. Uh, no need to break it, because it's all plastic. No shatter in here. I never understood on movies when they would just like shatter the people. Like, was there, yeah. no, was there no hole at the bottom? What I guess there was no hole at the bottom. Stupid. Um, <laughs> wasteful. Um, we have um, Arya uh, and Flunda. Um, <coughs> stealing your stick there, Sandy. Did you guys talk about doing this thing beforehand? Um, we don't and talk. <laughs> put, you put the coins in the back of the head and it comes out a butt. Um, uh-huh. We have uh-huh. Stitch. From um, Disney's Stitch animated series that was based Lilo on Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> it's called Lilo. It's based on the Lilo and Stitch film. There was another one. All right. Uh, you put it in the back of his head and it comes out his butt, but smaller it seems. So you might might need to break this one. Alien butts. Alien butts. Hold on your hold on your butts. Technically, this guy's an alien because he lives on another planet. That's true. Um, and not regular size. Mm-hmm. Vader butt. Uh, this is flat on the back, so you can put it against a, a wall or a coffin. Why is he the only one like that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and the <back>. um, <laughs> coffin. Because people have coffin. I just love that. Why is that here? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we have Belle. Belle. Um, <laughs> and she's the fresh, Belle of the ball. The fresh um, princess of Belle. You can save up, <laughs> save up your ball dress. Uh, by putting money in this one. Um, and it's also a Friends couch. Though. Yeah, uh, if you're a fan of the oh. couch from Friends, um, which didn't Just have the couch, not the didn't show. have the logo of Friends on it, but it kind of appears on the screen, but not in that. Like it, technically, I think it hovered like mm. here. Uh, so not canon, but um, you can <laughs> you can put the coins in the back. Might not fit a fifty cent, um, and you can get them out of the butt of mm-hmm. the couch. Couch yeah. butt. Yeah. yeah. Well done. Yeah, because if you missing coins, more often than not, they're on they're the, in couch. the couch. They're in the couch, right? Um, cool action uh, figures have come in. Let's look at them um, from uh, Hasbro, part of the uh, Fantastic Four <coughs> Retro Marvel Comics collection. We have Fire Lord, and this guy controls fire with fire a Lord. fire stick, match stick, or broom. I don't know, Sandy. Do you know? Um, I think throwing it is a match. Yeah, he well, looks like a superhero oh, version it's of someone edge, from though. Gladiators. Yeah, it's a um, oh. it's a it's interchangeable hand, so he can hold it. It's just fire stick. Mm. Galactus transforms Zandarian naval officer Pyrius Krill into his late into his newest herald, the unwavering Fire Lord. Nothing about the stick. Mm. Mm. With a name like Pyrius, did he really have any yeah. choice other than? Fire? No, he didn't. Uh, this is a. Uh, uh, a new release in the uh, Amazing Spider-Man collection, part of the retro collection again. This is the bombastic bag man, where uh, with no uniform uh, to hide his identity, he has to borrow a Fantastic Four uniform and put a bag over his head yeah. so no one knows who he is. You didn't know that. Yeah. You read the back of the book. No, I didn't. Look at this. Let's go back around. Oh, just happens to be the fact that I was already wearing. <laughs> oh well. No, anyway. actually, I asked Sandy about. This. I asked Andy about this Early the other day, and yep, and he Got straight out of the gate, bang, told Donkey me exactly Kong. what it was all about. Um, got a kick me sign and two hands and he's got some articulation there he can bend and he's the the bag is quite good they've actually sculpted the eyes within the bag rather than just paint them i respect them going to that level of detail um <coughs> similarly in some card back action figures from fallen toys we have the new slash dc direct dc <laughs> superpowers <laughs> collection this is a four-inch figure of the Flash on a nice card back. Mm, it's, four inch, but it's, okay. uh, it's, it's four inches. <laughs> and uh, this is Green Lantern. Um, and he's got the titular lantern. Um, and we have um, Batman Who Laughs, who really not of the era. Um, no, that one actually really surprised me. 
uh, in terms of why it was there, yeah. uh, but it is. Um, ka chow. Ka chow. Um, <laughs> other action figures, Sandy. Yeah. Cool we'll, new things have come in. We'll continue with McFarlane Toys. Uh, so, from their gold label series, we have uh, Tim Drake as Robin. Because he's ready to hold his yeah, stick. He's, he's ready. ready to do something. Uh, <laughs> and this is really awesome. Big fan of oh, the Robin character. Look at that. <laughs> Particularly oh. Tim Drake. Uh, this is a classic red and black or uh, yeah. <laughs> solo adventure. <laughs> Where is that rope going? Or oh, coming Where from? Did it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, really nice seven, seven scale DC multiverse action figure there. Uh, and we've got Shazam, Kachow. Uh, Shazam. The classic version there. <laughs> Uh, eating an apple. Yeah, really cool. Not, Wait a minute. Not about the movie. Kids don't eat apples. <laughs> That's not Zachary Levi. Uh, and from uh, the like TV's Chuck. Dark Knight's <laughs> speed metal, uh, we have Dark Flash. Oh, he looks oh. angry. Mm-hmm. He's angry because you you keep making bad jokes. No, I I think he's angry because there's three of them and he's mad. <laughs> but there's only one in the box. Yeah, you have to buy three to make that. Yeah, correct. To create that image. Which uh, you can do because we have them in stock. From the DC Multiverse, build a figure, uh, build a Solomon Grundy range. From Batman Arkham City. Uh, we have four awesome figures, each containing a uh, little component. A little bit of Solomon. That you can build. Solomon Grundy, Sydney, born what's on the, a Monday, what's, Yeah, that's uh, the problem. Died on a Tuesday, <laughs> reborn on a Wednesday. Yeah, I, there's, it, it's an old little uh, poem. Yeah. Uh, Don't forget anyway. Batman's from like the 30s. So. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I think Solomon Grundy came into it a little bit later on, but that's okay. Uh, Raj al uh, uh We've also got Batman, uh, Penguin, uh, and then oh, Catwoman. Stop it! <laughs> Penguin or Penguin? Yeah, Penguin. No. Oh. Hey, with the tip of that umbrella, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Has a whip. Again. Bring back Penguin. Penguin, Penguin. Nope. From the Good Smile Company, Where slash Max fa- Oh, up the top. Up the top. Do, uh, feed me, slash Max Factory. We've got some really table, awesome table museum. Uh, this is the best thing we've had come in in the last month. I'm very excited about this. They have uh, turned a bunch of classic fine art pieces, uh, historic sculptures, and the like into articulated action figures and give them a bunch of extra poses and cool things that you can do with them. People like, have been asking for this for years. For, for instance, um, uh, Michelangelo's David, uh, look at all the cool things you can do. For one, nice, got a nice package on him. Uh, interchangeable <laughs> heads, um, thumbs up, uh, knee action so he can really flaunt what he's, what he's carrying. Um, yeah. And yeah, look at it. Look, look at all the cool things you can do with him, which uh, is really great. Um, I think he would have. I think it would have been like, ooh, articulation. <laughs> Had I known. Um, we also have the thinker. Um, and, and again, yes. they're really going all balls out on these. <laughs> um, uh, look at him. He's thinking. He's running. He's scratching his head. He's also ready for a night of relaxation. Um, Sick. We also have. Um, uh, this is a model of uh, human anatomical human anatomical model. So just essentially like no skin, no skin, muscle, and rib. And a bunch of other things split in half in different sections so you can see different aspects of it. But yeah, you can kind of make him like dance or run and um, no gooey aspects. It's a nice and dry way of seeing what's inside a person. So if you're planning on doing that, I recommend do this rather than, you know, that. the alternative. Um, <laughs> pretty sure we did that one. Uh, here are some cool ones. Um, uh, we have uh, the screen. Um, uh, this this one's great. Comes with the backdrop uh, of the painting as well, um, so you can pose in front of the painting. You can do the classic stream, or you can do like love hot hands. Uh, you can make him like really like no. Um, he's got articulated waist, so he can he can you know do some TikTok dances. Um, look at that one, and the peace signs. Um, these are great. Everyone, I'm sure you're writing in being like, this is the best thing you've shown us ever. <laughs> this is so great. Yeah. Uh, and uh, if you want some more junk, well, check out uh, Vitruvian Man because yeah, go. he's got multiple <laughs> arms uh, and multiple legs uh, and also two more legs. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> um, nice. But yeah, it's cool. Look, you can make him wrestle other figures with his extra arms. Just a regular. <laughs> <laughs> the poses they've chosen. Just a regular <laughs> Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> this is truly the best. It's art. Ever. Don't need to censor it because it's art. It's fine art. It's fine. Proves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, we also have some cool other things that have come in. Um, we have some new uh, Good Smile Nendoroids. Yeah. Nendoroids. Uh, some Masters of the Universe uh, Revelation, the Netflix series. We've got Skeletor. Uh, really awesome, these Nendoroids. They're all around four inches oh. uh, in size. Uh, heaps of accessories and heaps of ways uh, to pose these in oh. a nice chibi style. Hey, man. Is ready to do something. <laughs> um, Someone's just suggested making stop motion films with those figures. Oh, oh yes. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I want to see. I found my new hobby. <laughs> um, I want to see this one do like the road run around. <laughs> or like yeah. Sonic the Hedgehog. I think that'd be just pinwheeling. Um, we have uh, from Good Smile, we have a new Figma of um, Link from Legend of Zelda. This is um, based off his Skyward Sword appearance Skyward sword on the appearance. Wii. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so a little bit more uh, basic in its uh, and a, a kind of like illustrative style. It was it was on the Wii. They kind of had to dumb it down. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, nice, nice one. <laughs> it's the most important. Right it's like the most important game in the timeline, though. It was good. They made yeah. it really pretty and like mm. um, like uh, like a painting, like a watercolor yeah. painting. It was cool. Yes, Sandy. Mm -hmm. Uh, more Nendoroids uh, from Batman 1989. Uh, we have uh, the Joker. And somebody's um, put a plastic bag over his head. <laughs> Can you stop talking like a prat? <laughs> uh, from uh, Get Tim <laughs> Voitin's uh, The Joker, we have uh, the 1989 version of uh, said character. Yeah, well, you're like Cindy. It was funny when I did no. no. It was funny to me, and that's all it was. <laughs> Anyway, uh, Joker comes with sunglasses, chattering teeth, cane, card hand, and more hat, things like that. We also have uh, Michael Keaton's Batman? Batman from <laughs> Tim Burton's Batman 1989 film. Uh, very hard to see because it's all plastic, but um, there is Batman in there. And then you've got the Batmobile there, so you can actually take, I think you can take his torso off and put him in the Batmobile. The cape goes up. Again, <laughs> very dark. They're, they're really, they're really nicely uh, uh, emotive figures um, for the scale. I recommend you grab them if you haven't already started collecting. All right, last things okay. on the show uh, before we uh, finish oh. off. Uh, Star Wars Visions, uh, Disney Plus animated series. Remember, we are sponsored by them, so uh, feel free to check them out. You get a one week free. If you haven't heard of them, <laughs> uh, they're a little uh, web. Platform, base platform. From Bandai to Marshy Nations uh, to SH Figure Arts figures, we've got Car and Am. Uh, so, yeah, really nice uh, 5 4 and 5 inch action figures, highly articulated, best articulation you will get on an action figure. You can quote me and hold me to that because they can are, change that um, to put her in full color. And these are really, really awesome, faithful adaptations of the characters from the Disney Plus. Uh, animated series Disney Plus. Make them fight uh, too. Check them out. Same day. Look at that stretch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, that's cool. That's really cool. Um, and yeah, let's touch base on these pins again. If you did order an express order for New York Comic Con, it would have shipped earlier this week. These were a couple of days late coming in, so all orders going forward will have them. But if you did order an express order, we'll be uh, mailing these out separately. Cool zombie Bigfoot now a pin. Um, uh, if you place an order now, um, good chance you'll still be able to get one. So jump on the. 2022 Funko 4 Convention exclusive lineup. Um, put a pre order in for the Vecna. We're holding some pins for the Vecna line, so um, get that for your collection. Uh, again, we have a little bit of backlog at the moment with New York Comic Con and a bunch of pre orders that have come in, including a huge amount of Stranger Things goodies that we'll hopefully be able to show you next week. Um, keep your eye on your inbox, email inbox, because we will. I'll uh, be hopefully sending you a uh, shipping notification in the near future. We are a little bit backlogged with just the huge amount of product that has come in, so we do apologize, but we are working to get through it as quickly as possible. Uh, your patience is very much appreciated. Um, let's give away some prizes, starting with this Argyle with Pizza Man. Ooh. Oh, okay. We're just going <laughs> straight to it. Yeah. Spinning. No Go. teasing. No.
I'm really limping along today. Um, it's just not as good without the spinning. Matt oh, Far Cry. Okay. Um, congratulations. Please send us a private message on Facebook with your name, personal information, and email address, and we'll get that sent out to you as soon as possible. Uh, next prize is this My Hero Academia pop flop. Guy's name, can't pronounce it, but he's furry and he's got sunglasses and he's cool. And let's spin for it. Meow. <laughs> There's no real enthusiasm with this. Yeah, uh, Teach King, congratulations on my hero academia. Do you Pop mile figure. Do you Please send us a private message on Facebook with your name, personal information, and email address. We'll get it sent out ASAP. Last spin. What's he gonna give away? This week. What's he gonna do? Ah, uh, Sandy, we're not giving away it. Oh. They're too good. Uh, we're <laughs> gonna give away the Robin Stephen Beckham three pack. Ooh. Yeah. More Stranger Things. I'm spinning. Okay. All right, see. Wow. wow. No, that wasn't That good. was barely better. Yeah, it was actually. In fact, it was worse. You've made a fool of yourself. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. You've tried your best, failed miserably. Unless it is. You never tried. What? <laughs> uh, Marina. Shifrin, congratulations! You've won a pro uh, No, you've won the pops. Please send us a private message on Facebook. Your name, post, location, email address. We'll get that sent your way. One last prize. We're giving away the popsies. Oh! Yeah. How do you think we weren't gonna do it because it's so good? But then we're gonna give it away. You're gonna count. Did you want to spin Sandy? No. And then you can promptly yeah. give it to someone else right. as a gift. Like oh. last perfect last minute <laughs> gift. Maybe, maybe next week. <laughs> or hold it for your own collection. Sandy, we. Uh, you don't need to feel with the spin. Why is it so slow to Yeah, me? I don't know. There's no pep. Uh, <laughs> Karina, Lenana, congratulations. You've won this awesome new Popsies figure. Please send us a private message on Facebook with your name, postal information, and email address, and we will get that <coughs> to you first thing next week. Guys, thanks for watching. This has been a week in review. Here at Pop Culture, I am Andy. We've got Blake behind the camera. We've got Sandy, Jess, and of course Luke running the show. Uh, we'll catch you next week for another exciting episode. Until then, stay safe and uh, keep with it. Hey, Red right. Kids. Uh, uh, interesting. Uh, what? Cut the beat. <laughs>